video. Today we're talking about an at-home robot bartender contraption. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in cocktails, you're interested in gadgets, stay tuned and let's find out more. Welcome back everyone. Um, as I said, we're talking about, again, a robot cocktail maker or robot bartender, but for your house. The company is called Bartesian or Bartisan. I'm not sure um, how you would say it. I think it's a combination of bar and artisan, but we're calling it the Bartesian. And it's this very Keurig-like machine that you fill with liquor, you insert pods, press a couple buttons and it creates you a custom drink. So of course, um, I immediately wanted to try it. If you know a little about me, you know I have a very extensive, well not very extensive, but I have a large at home bar because I like to mix and match drinks and like create weird flavors. So um, I was very interested in this machine because you know, I don't have to do the work but I can still enjoy a good drink. Um, the process for getting this is very easy. You just go on their website, you get your Bartesian, and you select your flavor capsule. Um, I have to say, they have quite an extensive selection um, of flavors. You can actually sort by spirit or just scroll through the entire list, which is what I did and picked, cherry picked, you know what I was interested in. They have, you know, common things like old fashions, mint juleps, you know, the classic cocktails. And they also have, you know, a little, little special things that they do here and there. And then I saw on their site that they actually have low calorie versions of certain drinks as well. So it's a good mix and match for people to try out um, if they're interested. Let's just get the price out of the way now. The Bartesian, this machine itself is $369.99, so $370. And when you first order it, it comes with like one eight pack of drinks that you select um it is quite it is quite a pricey machine this 369.99 so 370 um you also have to provide your own liquor obviously and then for the pods themselves they range anywhere from 15 dollars for a pack of eight i want to say to 20 dollars for a pack of eight so i'm gonna get started with plugging it in and following the steps I'm hoping this is, you know, it looks like a Keurig, um, so I'm hoping it is like Keurig steps, stick in a pod, put in the liquor, add some water, and you're good to go. Um, but we'll see. It says, plug into outlet, touch, and remove this. Ooh, now I see it. Insert your capsule and close the lid. Okay, so step one of what we're going to do is I'm going to go wash all these bottles, and then I'll be back. So as you can see, I have washed the bottles. They are now nice and clean and the liquor has arrived. Um, so I am going to fill up the bottles with the appropriate liquor. They are labeled. Um, so I'm gonna fill it up and then I'm put it in the correct label on the machine. So let's just do that. containers with alcohol. I filled everything up except for gin um, because the gin shares a slot with rum and I prefer rum. Uh, so we're just going to slot everything in. So I'm going to go get some cold water and I'm going to get a cup as well. And I got some water from my fridge. It's filtered, don't worry. We don't drink half water in this household. Just gonna pour it in. Okay, good to go. I'm gonna cover that back up. Now it's time to select a drink flavor. I'm assuming, I haven't opened one yet, maybe I should. It's that it's a juice, it's kind of a juice product in the pot because I can see that they all have a Best Buy date, and the Best Buy date is actually pretty close. This one says the Best Buy date is August 2022, and it is currently about to be May. It's the end of April, it's about to be May. Um, so that's about like what, three months um, shelf life, which is not a long time. 
So since it's so short, I'm thinking there's a lot of like fresh juice, um, fresh juice products that are used to, you know, fill up the pot. I think I'm gonna try the mango margarita just because when I asked my followers on Instagram to vote on which flavors I should get. This was the point of contention and somebody chose passion. They chose passion fruit over mango and I'm here for mango solidarity. So we're doing a mango margarita today. I'm gonna open it up. Oh, it comes in like such a cute thing. So you open it and I got our pods all organized like this. I hope you can see it. Um, it's very cute. And yeah, as I said, it looks like mango it's not nectary but it's like mango juice is in here so let's see and it tells me that i need to load tequila so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna insert my capsule so when you put in a capsule all right oh there's like a pin thing it is like a carrot there's like a pin thing so you put it in and i'm gonna close it and it still says, close the lid, and it says, place low ball glass with ice under the dispenser. All right, I'm back with the low ball. Um, there's a little ice, it doesn't say how much. Ooh, and it's dripping. <gasps> it's dripping. The nectar is dripping. I think I wasn't supposed to pierce it. I don't know, but I'm gonna press next. And then I have options between mocktail, light, regular, and strong. So I'm gonna do a regular drink. And I'm gonna just let that run out. says cheers open the lid and remove the capsule okay yeah so i think the dripping might have been caused by my premature piercing of it but i will try another one just to make sure um so cheers to a mango margarita I mean, it's not the worst mango margarita I've ever had. Um, it's not the best, but it's actually not the worst. It tastes like something I would get at like, like I guess at like a restaurant um, that doesn't like use fresh mango or anything. It doesn't taste bad. Mm. Also, I can like feel, I can feel the, the tequila. It's like, it's strong. Not like horribly strong, but you can definitely smell it and you can taste it a little bit in the drink. So, and it just burned. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, very strong very strong but cheers all right mm. cheers again <laughs> now that um i've tested out this bad boy um let's discuss let's discuss pros and cons or actually you know just my thoughts overall I actually like the machine and I like the concept. Um, it's definitely more of a premium cocktail um, maker than a robot bartender. And I'll make this distinction because you still have to have an active part in the drinks. Like the first one I made, the mango margarita, told me to get a specific kind of glass and a specific kind of ice, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but then when I made the Cosmo, it's like, oh, you need a shaker, you need this, and you need to 
do some actions after it dispenses the drink, which is not ideal. Um, for me, I prefer like the only thing I had to add was ice in a cup and it would dispense everything already mixed and I'd be done. Um, so more of a premium cocktail maker. I think this removes a lot of elements that you as a person has to do. So if you were hosting an event, you could definitely have your users and your people um, just do everything themselves. You could probably just have like a line of shakers and ice and things and just have an assembly line that people go through to make their own drinks. So I think it would work fine with that. But for the price, again, it's $370, right? I feel like I shouldn't have to like shake my own ice or put the drink in the shaker and shake it and dispense it myself. I don't wanna do all that. I just wanna put a cup underneath um, and you give me what you need to give me. So that's how I feel about that. I like the device in general. I just feel like it should do more for the price, um, especially when it's compared to like the Keurig, which I will bring out at some point. But enough of that. Let's list out the pros. Number one, I think the drinks actually taste solid. Um, it tastes like they used <laughs> juice, whether it was juice from concentrate or anything like the, the flavor is good. Um, I just think their ratio of alcohol to juice is a little is a little weird because even the regular drinks tasted strong. Um, much less the strong drink. I can only imagine how strong that would be. Um, so I think the drinks themselves actually tasted good. Um, another pro would be like, it's really easy to use. Um, you just plop in, like choose the capsule you want, put it in there and you follow the instructions, whether it's adding ice and your cup um, or getting a shaker, like it's very clear instructions of what to do. Um, I haven't gotten any errors yet, obviously with like the low water or anything, but when that does come up, um, I'm curious how that would be handled, but again, ease of use is pretty easy. I think like, again, if you've used a Keurig or you know how to follow directions, um, it's pretty common sense. So there should be no problem with that. Um, yeah, let's move on to the cons. <laughs> let's move on to the cons. Um, my con number one is that it's pretty expensive. Keurigs are going for, Let's, let's just look it up. Let me see, the Keurig that I have, which is the big Keurig iced coffee maker, I got it for 100, oh no, that's the slim one. I'm pretty sure I got mine for like 150, oh no, it was $200, just, just kidding. All right, so the Keurig I have is $200, but you could get a Keurig for 150, $130, right? Which is not bad. Um, this is like double Keurig prices and then some for honestly much of the same functionality. There's nothing really special um, that the machine is doing. So I think the price is the number one con. I would like to see them reduce it um, below $300. That would be, I think, a sweet, sweet, sweet point um, for people wanting to use and get it. Um, my second con is when I first used it and even now there is a drip problem. Whenever I put the capsule in and I close it all the way, um, it the liquid starts to drip already. I would expect that to happen if I had pressed next or start or anything, but it was literally me following the instructions of put the capsule in, close the lid, and then things start to drip. When you don't have a cup there, it's very, it's you're gonna make a mess. It has a tray, like a drip tray to catch um, liquids from coming out, but I still think that's like not a good design. That's a design flaw on their part, and it's probably something they need to fix uh, with the puncturing of the seal at the top and the bottom. So there's that. Con number three for me would be the machine price is one thing, but I think the pods themselves are also a little bit expensive. Um, as I said, these ones, all the ones I got here, I think they were $20, $19.99, so $20 for a pack of eight. Um, that's fine. If you want to tell me it's a premium cocktail mix, sure, I'll believe it. My problem with this is that the shelf life is very, very short. So I'm spending a lot of money. $20 divided by eight comes out to what, a dollar and... No. I promise y'all. <laughs> I'm a math major. That's what makes this super funny to me. I'm a math major. It comes out to like $2 and something, right? For 
a pod. So two something per capsule. That's a lot of money, especially when it's making like a single individual drink serving. Like if I were to, not that I would, but if I were to make those same drinks by myself in like a pitcher for like an event or something, it would be much cheaper. So I think they need to drop the prices of the capsules down a little bit as well. So probably like if I'm getting eight, my sweet spot would be if I'm getting eight, charge me like 10 to $12. I think that's a good price. Um, 20 is a bit much and I feel like a lot of people would be hesitant to try it out or get it because the price, the, the, the barrier to entry is, is high. Um, but yeah, that's like my third con. <laughs> my fourth con i think would be the size i'm not sure how they could have done it but i would have liked this to be smaller because it actually takes up quite a lot of space thankfully i have a bar like a separate bar cart so i'm going to just plop this on there and call it a day um but if you wanted if you had limited counter space in your kitchen and you wanted to have this it takes up a lot of space um, it's quite hefty and it's quite wide and I wish they would have found a way to streamline it um, a little bit. That would have been ideal. So if they're going to release a version 2, I think I would like to see a more streamlined version. But all in all, I mean, I liked it. Um, if you host a lot, as I said earlier, if you host, if you host a lot, this is a good machine to have because again, you can just buy a bunch of pods, right? Set it up in little baskets by the machine, make sure it's filled with liquor and water. Um, and if you're the host of your event, people can just go and make their drinks and you just have to go check in every once in a while to refill the liquor, refill the water and refill the ice. So I think it's definitely a helper in that situation. Um, also, it's like a nice little gimmick to have. I feel like if you have it, people are more likely to go like make their drinks just because they want to try it out. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So that's my quick review on the Bartesian. Um, too long, don't want to watch or too long, didn't read it. Uh, price is too much. Um, it should be dropped a little lower, but I do like the machine. I think it makes pretty decent drinks for what it is. Um, it's just a tad bit expensive. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked my content or you know, if you liked this video, feel free to smash the like button. Um, if you are interested in seeing more of my videos, you can also subscribe to me and then you can click the bell and you'll be the first notified um, whenever I make a video, whenever I post something. And that would be super amazing for me as well. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave it in the comment section below, or you can add it to my social media. Um, send me a direct message and I will try to respond in a timely manner. And also, if you have anything you want me to try, anything you want me to review, anywhere you want me to go and take a look and make a video from it, I'm open to suggestions. So again, leave it in the comment section below, or you can send it to me on all my social medias. I hope you all have a lovely day, night, afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are. I hope uh, everyone stays safe, um, stays healthy, stays well, and takes care of themselves.